Looking back on my life, one thing puts me in absolute awe, and that was God's plan for my life. And I can't even imagine what is ahead. It will be so good and so grand. And it has been so far, looking back to the past. In the um, Bible, in Psalms 32, verse 8, it says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. And it has been said, every man's life is a plan of God. Well, it certainly is. I'm testimony to that in my own life, and so are you. Maybe you haven't unwrapped your plan totally yet on how good it's going to be. God's word indicates that when you do your duty in small matters, God will give you additional responsibilities. It says that in Matthew 25, 14, and then it continues to talk about it through verse 21. Sometimes those responsibilities come from God. Changes will come that change the whole course of our lives so that we may better serve God, use our talents more fully. Sometimes our rewards come in the form of temporary setbacks that lead in turn to greater victories. I've had that happen, and I would say you have too. Sometimes God's rewards come by saying no to our requests so that God can say yes to a far grander gift that we, in our limited understanding right now, would have never thought to ask for in the first place. If you seek to be God's servant in great matters, be faithful, be patient, and be dutiful in small matters. And then step back and watch as God surprises you with the spectacular creativity of God's infinite wisdom and God's perfect plan.